In this video, we are going to be talking about Super Mario Wonder and why, in my opinion, it is one of the best 2D games I've ever played. So let's get to it. For a while, I had thought that if I wanted to play a good 2D game of Mario, I would have to probably go as far back as the Nintendo 64 or maybe even the Super Nintendo. But I decided to give Super Mario Wonder a chance and I honestly have to say, I am pleasantly surprised by this game. Let's start with the graphics. This game looks so good, especially when you realize it's running on six year old hardware. I guess that maybe since it's a 2D game, you can probably put more space or more of the space can occupy for it to have better graphics. But it honestly, no matter how you play this game, whether it's on a 4K TV, a gaming monitor, or your Nintendo Switch handheld, it looks really, really good. Whether it's the OLED or the regular Switch, it looks really, really good. Those colors just pop, especially if you play it on the OLED. If you play it on the OLED, obviously, you can tell the difference of the contrast between the colors, but honestly, it's not worth just going out and buying a Nintendo Switch OLED just for that. Um, but you can honestly, you can tell the difference a little bit more, but it really looks good no matter which switch you are playing it on. And it's actually really, really fun. It is so fun that my wife finished the game in three to five nights, anywhere from three to five nights. And my nephew said that he, he took my copy and he said it's one of the best games he has played recently at, and quote, it's just so fun to play. Although it has the same story, which is the fight against Bowser, it is in a new world and it has new power-ups. And it made me realize that most of the games that I remember and I loved playing was because of the new power-ups. Whether it was the original Super Mario Brothers, which yes, it had a new power-up because we knew the plumber from Donkey Kong. It did have a new power-up, which was the flower that gave you firepower or a fire, fire flower or whatever it was. Anyways, uh, continuing on, Super Mario 3 gave you uh, the Raccoon Mario. In the, in the Nintendo 64 or the Super Nintendo, you had Super Mario World and you had the cape that allowed the ability to fly. Super Mario 3D World, you had the cat costume, etc., etc., etc. In this one, you have an elephant and that elephant is so overpowered it is really hard for you to lose a level if you have that elephant because he is so overpowered the multiplayer is actually pretty fun too i played a few levels with my wife i don't like playing multiplayer 2d games but i honestly was not bothered by the experience it was actually a pleasant experience and in my opinion this game sets the bar of what 2D Mario games should be from now on. And in my opinion, they should dedicate more time to 2D games from Mario uh, because I honestly like 2D games more from Mario than I do the 3D, game one, uh, the 3D games. I know there are a lot of 3D games that are good. I'm not saying there are not, but I honestly do like the 2D games a lot more. And I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. I am never again betting against the plumber. So if you are thinking about getting this for a significant other or a child, it has my seal of approval. Go ahead, purchase it. You will not regret the purchase. If you like this video, leave a comment down below. If you have played the game, if by what I just said, you have been convinced and will purchase the game for either yourself, significant other or a child, leave it in the comments down below. While you're down there, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when we have new videos. The only way you can do that is if you're signed in with your Gmail account to your YouTube app or your favorite browser on YouTube.com, and not just me, any other YouTuber that you like. Trust me, we will greatly appreciate it. As always, we're available on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, I keep forgetting, X, and obviously YouTube at J.R. Abrams Tech, so you can stay up to date with the latest news and rumors about tech. Until next time.